Hey guys, what's up? My name is Adil Shaw and you're watching Tech Ambience. And today I'm going to show you something that is really unique and I feel no one have actually uploaded such a kind of view on YouTube. Now it's about YouTube actually. Now we all know the YouTube application, right? It's been there for, I don't know, for a long time. But few updates, you know, which was actually last year or before, which actually did change few things of the, uh, how the app looked like, you know, we have like these enlarged thumbnails and things like that. Today I'm going to show you, I'm going to share a method with you guys on how to really change the app on an entirely different level. Now you won't even, you know, you will be really surprised how well you can actually change that app from that old wicked thing to, uh, you know, an old, you know, boring layout to something which is really cool and which actually will benefit you a lot. And today I'm going to show you that method and I think it's a really, really awesome method. Now one downside of this video is that not all of you not all of the viewers who's watching this video would be able to do it because to do this you have to have a custom ROM installed in your phone since most of them will be having a stock one so anyway if you have a custom ROM still I'm not absolutely sure you can do this because some custom ROM do not provide the options that we need in this video so anyway without any further notice let's get into the video so the first thing that you can do is actually you need to enable the developers option so that's step number one to enable the developers option now if you've been an android user from your childhood and you might have come through this process and you know how to enable this developers option but still for the sake of this video i'm gonna actually you know go through that step and by now you would be able to see my phone screen on the left or right side of this video anyway so what you do is actually you need to um, go to settings now you, you you guys do know how to go to settings i will just go to settings and inside settings you would have the option you should see the developers option and if you don't have see that then you have to do this extra step and if you do see the developers option don't worry just go ahead and go skip this video to the part where i actually show you to change the option which is actually going to affect the youtube app anyway now let's actually get into the um now if you guys don't see the developers option now what you need to do is actually you need to go to the about set about phone option in your phone and once you are in your about phone, about phone option you need to go to the uh, build number and you tap it two to three to four to five times and which would then make you a developer so there will be a small message popping up saying that you are a developer so the next thing that you do is actually you need to go back and over there there will be an option to um, mm. there will be the developers option and inside the developers option you need to go and search for this specific option option and that is um we let me look it over here and uh, it's actually i'm actually not sure why most of the custom ROM don't have it but anyway so this is the option that i was talking about that is the small width option now there will be a default value assigned on it if you like doing it for the first time and that value now what this value means i would explain it um i mean i will explain it so what that value means is actually the density in your phone screen now default value is the default number of pixels in your phone screen so as you increase the number obviously the number of pixels in your phone screen also increases and which actually results in one thing that is you may notice that your you can actually see that you can actually see the change in your phone itself you know without even going to the app is actually your you know the your apps and the text that is uh, uh, in your phone actually would appear a bit more smaller than how it is usually so the reason because is actually because the number of pixels increases and since your screen is small to accommodate all that pixels in your screen what it does is actually to reduce the size of each pixels so that's what happened the same thing that you have seen in another videos where people try to run you know 4k games in a 1080p monitor instead of buying a 4k monitor they could actually run those 4k games in a 1080p monitor by by reducing the pixel files for example Aussie from off Docs hardware did that thing to actually uh, to test his uh, the power of this low-end GPU so anyway the same is what we're doing over here with the Android app so what it uh, with the Android device now once you set that the, the appropriate value for you guys so that the apps are not small but you that they're not that much smaller that you won't be able to see it properly and the text are like that size which is appropriate for you guys so that you can actually you know see those text 
makes an ad well so once you have that figured out that correct value and don't need to worry you don't need to be precise in the resolution values you can put input any value that you guys love just make sure that it is uh, a little bit higher than the usual value so once you have enabled that option now actually that is it you're done you 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 would you, you, first of all you would actually feel the difference in the um, entire uh, phone itself you can see your icons would be small and you have the small effect that your screen is a bit bigger now but actually what happened is that your icons and your text a bit smaller so that's actually what happened in reality so anyway once you have done that you're good to go now once you open your youtube app you're gonna be surprised because the youtube app completely going to be uh, changed now what happens here to the youtube is actually as you can see your phone now has small apps so your app the apps on your phone thinks that you have a much more bigger display than you had before so the youtube apps also thinks the same way and the google developers have actually made the youtube app in a pretty really awesome way to adapt to any kind of screen resolution now due to which the next time that you open your youtube app after changing the pixel density in your screen the app is going to be completely changed and would make its change available so that make its change in a way to accommodate that screen size and that's what we see over here and as you can see there is a kind of now one of the best features that you're going to get through this technique is actually the video is now actually in the categorized based upon you know a certain topic for example the videos are under the recommendations are over here then the videos under breaking news gaming for youtube which you won't actually get in the old app where you have to like uh, scroll a billion times to get your video to get your uh, video that you want to play but here something really really different happens so as you can see the videos are actually based you know divided into categorized or categorized based upon the category of video what they are made up of so this is actually a really cool cool thing that is the first advantage that you get and the second thing is actually if you go to the subscription where you can change a huge difference is that you can notice that the subscription or the people subscribe you have uh, will be will be in the side and instead of being at the top which where it usually was before we made the change and which was actually really difficult over here now you can actually go into each youtuber and you will actually get a wide space of choice to see your youtubers and which i feel is a really really good at Advantage. Now, not much of a UI difference other than that. Now, one of the best and the foremost, I think the best thing, the best change that comes over this is actually when you play a video. Now, this is really cool. Now, let me play a MKPHD video. Now, this is what gonna really change. Now, I don't know about this app. Anyway, now, just to actually get into, let me to this place, Google 3A review. And as you can see, when I open the app, like um you know like any other old app you know any the usual youtube app the way it opens up now here's where the magic happens when i switch it into landscape that is where the magic happens yeah so that is a huge huge difference the exactly how the youtube app actually appears in your youtube website the same the same way it actually appeared here we have the you know other videos at the side then we have the you know the description at the below and we also have the comments at the side which was not the same as it but a really entirely different experience so that was it guys and if you did enjoy this video please like this video and if you feel that content like this from a beginner is really good please consider subscribing to the channel which actually means a lot to me so you so thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.